Hello, my name is Jeff Coffey, and I'm the co-author of FileMaker Pro 10, The Missing Manual. In this screencast, we're going to look at naming objects in FileMaker Pro 10. In particular, I'm going to show you how you assign names to the objects on your layouts, and then some cases where you reference those objects by name. Here I have a simple database that I created really quickly that keeps track of information about companies maybe that I do business with. So I've got a company name and a phone number and down here we have a portal that allows me to add multiple websites that are associated with that company. And then the bottom half of the window here you can see that I've added a web viewer to my layout that shows the actual website of that company. But of course this company has more than one website and so my web viewer right now is showing the first one in the list. And I'll show you that here. We'll go to layout mode, select my web viewer and double click, and we see that it's just referencing the website's URL field, which is this field right here in my portal. Since I'm referencing a related field in a calculation, FileMaker automatically grabs the first value, the value from the first related record. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to browse mode. So obviously in seeing this database, you might immediately wonder, what if I wanted to look at these other websites? Maybe the second or third one in the list. So what I'd like to do is implement this button I've added right here, so that when I click it, it shows me the appropriate website in the web viewer. Now, if you're familiar with FileMaker, you probably know how you add buttons to layout objects. We're going to do that now. I'll go to layout mode. I'll select this little graphic I've already put on the layout go to the format menu and choose button setup. Here FileMaker gives me a list of all of the button options and I happen to know that the one I'm looking for is called set web viewer so I type a little bit and it selects it for me and here's the set web viewer script step. Then I push specify and the first thing FileMaker asks me for is an object name in other words, which web viewer do I want to set? Now that might seem like a silly question because my layout only has one web viewer, but this button needs to work even on layouts that have more than one web viewer. And so FileMaker has to have a way to identify which web viewer on the layout you're referring to, and it does that by object name. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to select my web viewer and go here to my object info palette. Now if this isn't showing on your screen, I'll close it so it isn't on mine, you can just go to the View menu and choose Object Info. Up pops the Object Info palette where I can set things like size and auto resize behavior. And right here on top, I have a little box where I can enter a name. So I'm going to name this Web Site because that's what it shows, a website for the company. You can name that anything you want. You can use numbers, punctuation, whatever you want. Just remember that your name has to be exact when you go to use it later. So I'll name that website and then close my object info palette. Now if I click on my button, go to the format menu, and then button setup again, find that set web viewer script step. It's way down at the bottom for those of you who don't type quite as fast as I do under miscellaneous here. Set web viewer, I'll click specify, and then here I can specify the name of the object. And I know that I call that web site. So I just put exactly what I typed over there. And then I can choose the action I want to do. In this case, I want to go to a URL. So I choose Go to URL. I see the same basic dialog box you see when you're configuring a web viewer in the first place. I'm going to go ahead and select all here and delete that. And instead of using these pre-built functions, I'll just go into my calculation choose websites, because that's the table I want to refer to, and double-click the URL field. So this formula looks exactly the same as the other one did, but the important point is this button is triggered from a portal, and as you probably know, when you click a button on a portal, FileMaker uses the data associated with the particular portal row you clicked on. So I'm going to go ahead and OK that, and now I have a button that sets the web viewer URL for the web viewer named website. I'll push OK, and push OK again, I'm going to go ahead and save my layout and then switch to browse mode. And now we're ready to test. Here's the Google Images website. I'll click the button and you see my web viewer switches to the Google Image search page. If I click the button by Gmail, 
I get the Gmail page. I can switch to another record in my database. Here's the FileMaker record. And I can look at the Bento Trial website. So you see that naming objects is really, really easy. You just select the object, and then specify the name in the object info palette. And then referring it to an object by name is also easy. You just have to type the name in exactly as you put it when you name the object in the first place. Object names don't show up that often in FileMaker. The most common case is when you're trying to work with web viewers like this. You can also do more advanced techniques, like name an object and then refer to it by name in calculations using the get layout object attributes function. But that's a more advanced technique that's not usually needed for most development.